All started, Chris? Yes. Anything else you have questions on? Okay. Oh yeah, we wanted to look at printing. So when you do printing, um, oh, I got lucky. I think this is even a B sheet. All right. So you're going to come, and you're probably going to see some setup like this. Now keep in mind, this will be a scale drawing, so you're going to have to deal with that. Remember how to scale. Yeah. I can click on the outside viewport, and then I set my scale to whatever it needs to be. Okay. Um, what's this guy? I think this is metric, 25.4, which I don't have that set up in here. Okay, I'll just real quickly show you, remind you. So when you make a scale, you come in, you say custom. Um, I think this guy is 1 to 25.4. So again, this top portion, as I make an annotation scale, this is just a title. It does no scaling at all. My scaling is done down here, where I put in the value I'm going to run. Okay, once I do that, I should have that available to me. Looks like this is metric. So you can set your scale two times. I usually get out of model space, but keep in mind, if I double clicked into my viewport, I can set my scale here too, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can set it here. I don't like doing it here because if I accidentally spin my mouse wheel, I change that scale. Okay, and yeah, I've had that happen to me. Um, else it does waste a piece of paper. You pull it out, and say, oh, that's not right. So I would suggest that you just highlight the viewport by left clicking on it one time and then go ahead and set it to the scale that's appropriate. Then you're going to the print window. You don't want to zoom it stands? Hmm? You don't want to zoom it stands after you set scale? Yeah, well, yeah, you need to make sure it's all centered and everything. This is what I okay. um, Our printer for B sheets is the uh, it's the Mark one, isn't it? Uh, mine's called Attic 127. That's not what your guys is called. It's is the it? Omni. Yeah, it is. Okay. It's the Omni Attic 127? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So that's the same printer. Okay, so you choose that. Now, again, you have access to paper size right down in here, but I generally try not to use this because it doesn't hold real well in my page setup settings, so I, I like going through the printer. But you can set it in either place. So I'll go to Properties, Custom Properties, then you get your little print driver. Does this look like your print driver? So my paper size is right here. And B sheets are 11 by 17, not 12 by 18. Um, set that. And last thing, change your orientation to a landscape. That's all you need. OK, OK, save your changes. And snap a window. Make sure your snaps are off. I mean, snap your window. Um, center it. Make sure your scale is one to one. You got black pens. I would suggest you preview it. Okay. This is always a good check. Remember, you can zoom in here. This thing's not fail safe because it's a visual display monitor thing. You won't see everything here. So you need the hard copy for that, but you can come in and check most things. And then send it to the printer. Okay, so you can either close this or just right click and there's a plot option or exit out and say OK here. And you have got it sent. Would you run through the, 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 the scale part again? I, I've, I've been trying to change the scale on the model view. Do you do it on the layout view? Yeah, model view, you really don't. I mean, we went through a process with this where we took this guy and scaled it, right? By our DSF? That's what I'd be doing. This is all going to be done. The drawing's done. Except for dimensions. But you don't even need this thing. That's only there for centering stuff. Yeah. Drawing's always one-to-one. -one. Now, 
So whether you want that or not, that, that's totally up to you. If you do have it, and I'll just run through the process, the whole thing. Um, so even if you screw it up, delete it and start over. Because really all you're doing is taking this viewport, control C, come into here, control V, and placing it. And all you're doing is giving yourself a drawing aid. This thing's not going to be printed. It's on the viewport side. And I'm going to scale this by my DSF. Now when you scale, you're only scaling this thing. Do not scale this geometry. So I'll scale this, and I'm going to scale it by my DSF. In this case, for this drawing, it's 25.4. And the only reason we put it on there is so we can do a little centering on it. Well, it won't print. You won't, you won't be able to print unless it's in a viewport. Yeah, I can. I can print this all day long without this. You can. I don't need that. Yeah. That's just to help you center it and make sure everything looks pretty. Well, if I don't have it in the viewport, it doesn't show up on my paper space to print. Right, and I don't need it. I don't really care. I'm going to go up here. Okay, now I just deleted it, right? It's not in there. You just need to have a viewport in. in layout space, you said. Yeah. You don't have to have a viewport in model space. See, I don't understand it because if I have just something in my model space that's not a viewport, it won't print. I, when I go up here, so you have to grab it and yeah, find, find it somewhere. Yeah. So you would double click into your drawing space in in this layout space and, and then, then you'll find to, it and then yeah. you'd have to go find it. Oh. Yeah. Or you can define a new viewport that's a different shape so, that yeah. doesn't have to, yeah. Right. Because here's all my stuff. I've got more than one thing in here. Okay. So I just take this, kind of take this, center it a little bit. Oh. But you've been you've been going I did not in see and out. You just does it does it matter how like, it's not still right now. like how you, you scrolled you scrolled it way back? Then you would have to go back down to your yeah, annotated you scale and set it back to your, your okay. scale. So your scale. The scale is gone there. Yeah. yeah. Look down on the scale deal. Uh -huh. Notice right now my scale is point zero zero two two. Okay, so I'm at two thousand. So this is one to two thousand. About. Mm -hmm. Okay, well if I zoom further away. Now I've added another decimal place. This is one to 20,000. So if I zoom in, now I'm one to 9,000. If I zoom in here, uh, gotta get it to update. Yeah, now I'm one to 900. So I, all you're gonna do is just kind of get it in here centered. I'll have a viewport in there. It's all gonna be centered, everything will work. Um, then once you get that, then I'm just gonna set my scale that I want. Okay. You're gonna see it move. Now, if you're not using, if you use a viewport, this thing's done. The copy of the viewport in model space. If you don't, what you have to do is double click in here and use pan it until you like how everything is. And it looks pretty good right about there. This is the part where you could roll the wheel and... Yeah, you're changing the scale. The second you roll that wheel, you're changing the scale. No, you it's set. You might have switched it, yes. And you'll know, because all they've got to do is click on this thing, and if it doesn't say what your scale is yeah. right here, it'll have some fraction or decimal. It's a decimal. If it doesn't say what you want it to say, re-click it and rescale it. No. In fact, when we we're going to take a break and we're going to come back on this architectural one, are there any viewport no. examples in architecture? No. None. No. Not a one. It's just something I've interjected to help beginners get things centered. Makes it easy. In essence, you are not going to probably be using that in real life. And probably we won't use it at all next semester. Okay. That's ready to go. Anything else you would like me to go over? Okay, let's take a break and we'll come back and do drawing six.